Now, let's say if you are a client and you don't have AutoCAD installed in your computer and you have received a DWG file. Now, how do you open that AutoCAD file in your mobile phone and even on your PC or personal computer? The solution for that is actually CAD Reader. This is a pretty nice application. What you have to do is just install it. It's completely free. Okay, what you have to do is just to right click and then open it. It is completely free. Just go and download it from the link which is given in the description. As you can see, this is a pretty and a friendly interface. You have to open the DWG file for which you have to click open and then of course open files. Now you have to select the drawing which you have on your computer or maybe in your mobile phone. I have that on the desktop so I'm gonna navigate over there and as you can see I'm gonna open this project page 31. Okay just select that and then click open. As you can see that's just opened and this is pretty nice okay. If you have not installed AutoCAD in your computer there is nothing to worry about. What you have to do is just to install CAD Reader just by one click. It is a very simple process okay now let's just look into some function and then of course in, in in further videos then i'll explain each functionality and each option in detail okay and in this video we will look into specific functions and the thing which i'm going to explain in the same video is actually related to the major tab okay let's just click on the major tab and as you can see we have this dialog box and i'm going to focus on the uh, polygon area Okay, because I have some parcels in the same drawing. And let's just click on the polygon area. Now, if you don't know what to do, CAD Reader is gonna tell you. Look at the command bar. It is asking to choose the first point. Let me just click on this corner and then the next corner. And of course, I'm gonna specify each corner. The best thing in the CAD Reader is actually if you press space from your keyboard, it's gonna undo the last action. That's what I really like about CAD Reader, okay? So you have to specify or click each corner and then of course, to end the command, you have to right click to finish, okay? And there is your area and circumference. Of course, that's pretty amazing and very speedy work, okay? Now, let's try if we have a parcel or maybe a property having a curvature. Then of course, you can click polygon or area. And let's just start by clicking each corner. And the best thing is actually when you just navigate or when you just access that corner which has curvature, of course, the cross here is just changing its style. As you can see, it's now converting into a square. You can say it is like a double square, okay? So you have to click on the same corner or maybe on the same arc. And then, of course, you can click the corner or maybe the vertices of the same polygon or maybe this irregular area, okay? When you are done, then of course you can right click to end the uh, command or just to finish the command and of course that's your area and circumference, okay? And, and this label is actually based on the unit setup that you have. You can of course change your unit setup from the settings. You can click that and of course we have the text height. You can just of course control the height of the text. If that's, you can say a huge video or maybe the height is more, you can of course reduce that by clicking this custom, okay? And then of course provide the video. We will discuss all these things in further videos, it's a matter. This time I'm happy with the auto, no problem, okay? And of course the area units, you can change these things, okay? I'm happy with the default and I'm gonna cross this dialog box, okay? And one last time, let me just of course, click on the polygon arc area and then of course, I'm gonna just specify each corner. As you can see, I'm clicking each corner and then of course, I'm gonna close the polygon and of course, there is it. We have the same area. That's pretty amazing thing, okay? I really like this functionality of the CAD Reader and of course, we have multiple functionalities which I'm gonna discuss in future videos, okay? Now, you can even just save the file of course that's just been saved Let, let's just open the CAD reader again just by double click of course and then we will of course open the same file so we can see if those things are been saved or not so okay i'm gonna click on the open and then open files and of course we have the same drawing on the desktop i'm gonna select that one and of course the project batch 31 open it and as you can see we have those things that's pretty cool okay you can even delete them 
does not matter we have an icon which is known by the delete of course you can click date and then erase comment of course you can click on the labels and bam that's gone okay click again of course they are being deleted are being erased very simple okay see you in the next video